YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday and that means it's time for mail call. Up first, a box from Denny Bashir. Thank you, Denny. What'd you send me? What you got? Bag. Very, very well wrapped. Very nice. So this is the Matchbox number 73. F1 Ferrari. Um, if you look at this, the body's in really decent shape. It's got a little paint loss on the front piece there. Um, it's missing the driver, but got beautiful original decals on there. A little damage on this side. Uh, but I was able to pick this thing up dirt cheap because it's missing the front wheels. Um, and I was able to look. Uh, I've got another car. Um, let's see, exact same model. It had intact wheels that had uh, damage to the um, exhaust and the body was completely roached. Uh, it was missing the steering wheel, a bunch of other things. So I'm gonna see if I can take two uh, sort of trashed cars and put them together and try to get one good car out of it. So for this one, uh, this model may not be a restoration so much as a preservation. Um, and I may try to do a wheel swap on this with a good set of the original uh, F1 Ferrari wire wheels onto this model. So watch for that in a future restoration video. Next, got a box from James Meckley. Thank you, James. Peanuts. This is a model that I think it is. Um, this is a model I don't have in my collection yet. So when I came across, I started looking for, you know, where where do I have holes? What models do I still need to get? Um, and you kind of when you do the searches and you search by model, you find you know, a lot of different things that are out there. Um, and this one, pretty decent price, and. Uh, I liked it because it has all the original decals. Um, everything's intact. It's got some uh, some paint wear, some paint loss there. All the areas where you would expect it. Um, it's obviously, you know, pretty well play worn, but um, all of the transfers are there. Everything's intact. Um, this is just a beautiful little survivor model, and I love it. Um, gonna keep it in my collection just exactly how it is um, you know something I, I think a lot of uh, a lot of the different channels that are out there that are showing restorations you know I, I hate to see a car that I look at as a survivor that's like that's you know that's beautiful and that has a story and I would want to have that in my collection just exactly how it is um, and somebody looks at it and says, oh, well, you know, we've got to strip that down and restore it. Um, I really have to give props to some of the restoration channels. Um, you know, Marty's Matchbox, he does a great job. Most of the models that he starts with, I think even I would have considered for the rubbish bin. And, you know, he takes something that's just so far gone and brings it back to life. And I love to see that. Um, but I think we as collectors, when we come across models like this, um, these deserve to just you know, be preserved just in their, their current format. So 
Super excited to fill a hole in my collection, found something that I don't have and a beautiful original example um, of what this model was when it was new. So super excited about that one. Up next, BJK Direct. Holy bubble wrap, Batman. This one's wrapped really well. Oh, beautiful. So this is a number 34 Volkswagen Caravette. Um, not in bad shape at all. Has both of the original doors. Um, looks like this one's is stuck. Um, looks to be really dirty. I'm not sure what that is all over the door there, but I'm sure it needs some uh, some cleaning up. But it's got both doors with it. The glass is intact. Uh, the plastic's a little scratched up, like you'd expect it to be on these models. Um, this is one of my favorite castings. This is also my logo I have for the channel um, is this casting um, and I have a restoration of one of these that's underway right now um, I'll be posting that shortly um, I just I really really love this model this is just one of the most fun matchbox models out there in my opinion so excited to have one like this has all the original pieces so we'll see if we can do a little cleanup um, I think this is probably more of, again, in that um, preservation status than a restoration, because I, I wouldn't want to really do much of anything with this other than just clean it up and preserve it just how it is. So let me see if we can get that door cleaned up, the back end cleaned up a little bit, get that to where it uh, is operable again. Um, and other than that, I think I'd probably leave this just exactly how it is in my collection. So. Excited to get that piece in. Another box. This one is from Michael DeRocco. Double prize. All right, got a matchbox number 39. I think this is the Ford tractor. Um, box is a little, a few little issues there on the top. Um, that end flap's a little rough, but it's intact. Has all the pieces, so this might be a box that really all we have to do is just press it um, to get it back in pretty decent shape. And the model looks to be completely intact. Um, not mint, but I'd say near mint. Not an, an excessive amount of paint loss or wear. The wheels, <laughs> the wheels have the problem that all of these do. That plastic is aged and shrunk down a little bit. But as you can see, just a few wear marks on the front. Loose. Loose wheels and tires like normal, but we've got the original steering wheel on there. Not a lot of play wear. This was very well taken care of. Um, so nice model and an original box. Happy to have that one. And also, that same shipment. Oh, I am totally excited about this one. Um, very old box. This is from one of those earlier series models. Um, you see this box has kind of some remnants of some adhesive on the front there. Uh, it's been taped at some point in the past. Um, and due to the age that this is, it's in remarkable condition. Um, I am 
probably going to try a couple of my um, more gentle methods of restoration to see if I could get some of that adhesive to be removed. Um, but I definitely have to be very careful with something like this because the rest of the, the box is an overall just excellent shape. Um, very crisp, clean, no tears, everything's original. I've got a little crease there, but you know, not bad at all. Um, and this one came with the model. I have quite a few of these, um, but all of the models that I have in my collection right now of the number eight are really, really rough. Um, and this is, this is about on par with most of what's in my collection. Um, these models are a little more difficult to restore, uh, especially trying to find original treads, which are nearly non-existent. Um, so I can get aftermarkets, I can get reproductions on these, and I think this is maybe one, I'll have to look how this one compares with some of the other models I have, um, but this may be one that I do a restoration on. But still happy to have that and this amazing survivor box in my collection. So that's it for our mailbag this week. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and click the subscribe button right down there to keep up with us, everything we're doing. Um, thanks for watching.